All right, guys, welcome back to Cheatham Street Relics. Another video on the 89 Ranger GT. Uh, I did a video, I don't know, a week or so ago, probably a week ago. And uh, I was talking about the intermittent uh, engine tap that it had, which is a lifter. I can hear it now. It'll do it for a minute and then it'll quit. It'll do it and it'll quit. When I get the oil changed, I'm going to put some oil out it to minute and see if it kind of helps it out a little bit. But uh, I don't know, guys. It is what it is. I can hear it over there ticking now. It'll tick for a second and then it'll quit. It'll tick a little bit and it'll quit. I even see a little smoke or steam coming out the tailpipe. It ain't good, guys. It's a 35-year-old truck, so what are we going to do? Original 2.9 liter V6. Original transmission. It's an automatic transmission. It's the A4LD. The A4LD, that stands for Automatic Four-Speed Light Duty. So, when I was doing that video talking about the lifter tap, which she's, she's tapping pretty good right now, just sitting there, uh, I noticed it dripping transmission fluid underneath it. So I brought it down here to my mechanic down here in Huntington, Tennessee. You see it right here. Reynolds Automotive Repair. David Reynolds, good friend of mine. We've known each other for years, sort of went to school together. Good, honest mechanic, really good at what he does. Anyway, I brought it down here on Tuesday. It is Friday now, and I'll do another video. I'm not going to get into it on, on this one. I'll do another video and talk about where we're at with the uh, transmission leak. This engine tap has really got me kind of PO'd, if you know what I mean. Uh, I don't know, you can probably hear it from here. See, it'll quit. I don't know if you can hear it. It'll get quiet. Quiet right now. It'll start back up ticking again. I don't know what the deal. I don't know what the deal is with that, guys. Like I said before, I'm not a mechanic. I don't have a clue. But what I'm doing right now, guys, why I've got it sitting there running is I'm letting it warm up, and I'm going to check the, uh, the transmission fluid level. Now you got to check the, the transmission fluid level. When you check that, you check it check it with it warm because the transmission fluid it expands as it gets warm it expands as it gets warm and so you always want to check it when the vehicle's warm so I'm gonna let it run a few minutes and warm up and we'll check it I don't know how long this thing's been leaking guys so I got the Buick out today I don't know how long this thing's been leaking I just noticed it you know when I did that video and then brought it down here like I said last Tuesday but I'm going to check the fluid level. I'll give it just a couple more minutes to warm up a little bit. I don't know how long you should let it run. I'm thinking five or ten minutes should warm it up decently. The engine is just running like a sewing machine right now. Nice and quiet. Not tapping at all at the moment. But like I said, guys, intermittently it will start tapping. I'm going to try some, uh, I'm going to try some engine oil treatment, maybe some Lucas or something see what that does with it guys at this point at this point in time you know i love the little truck i've said that a million times i'm just trying to keep it going you know keep it running keep it going i don't drive it long distances i keep it close to home it's a it's not a daily driver by any stretch of the imagination i drive it you know maybe two or three times a month sometimes not that but so i don't i don't drive it a whole lot it's got pretty good rubber on it still. A little spider on the tire. It's an Eagle alloy polished aluminum wheels. They need to be polished. Good tires. They're, the front tires are dipped out. and then, uh, I think they're probably starting to dry crack, all of them. They've been on there a while. Like I said, they don't get driven that often. And I said before, the front end suspension on this truck is another, a whole other issue. It's got a lot of rust under it. We'll, I may talk about that in another video as well. But uh, the suspension, that's another issue there. So it's just a uh, Ford Ranger GT MP. 
I should call it the Ranger MP Money Pit. I'm spending money on this truck all the time. But let me see if it's, I, I think it's probably, it's been running about eight or nine, ten minutes or so. I don't know. But we'll check. I'll see if I can do this. I don't have my little tripod. But we'll pull it out. I got me a tissue here. There's your trans fluid dipstick right there. So we'll, uh, we'll pull it out. By the way, guys, there's your on this 2.9, there's your oil. There's your oil dipstick there. Of course, you know, guys, I know you guys already know this, but like I said, you check the transmission fluid with, it, with the engine warm, with the, with the vehicle warmed up. Because that fluid expands, and you'll get a you'll get a more true level reading if it's warmed up. Now the engine oil is kind of the opposite. You don't want the engine to be hot when you check it. You want to if you've been driving it, you want to take it home, shut it off, and let it let it cool down just a little bit, and then check it because that gives the oil time to run back down in the pan and get a, a true reading. So you want it warmed up for the transmission fluid level check, and uh, you want it cool cooled down for the oil level check that's my that's my non-mechanic being butt tip today that one's kind of loud that's a little loud all right guys not ticking too bad it's about normal now so that's normal right there what you're hearing for a 2.9 guys is 35 years old and Showing 89,000 miles. That's, I'm sure that's a uh, 189,000. So, all right, guys, quit delaying. Let's pull her out and see where we're at here. Let me get my little tissue kind of laid out here where I can lay the dipstick on. Let me get my sea rights on too because so I can see the crosshairs and everything on this dipstick. All right, guys, let's. Get her out of there and see. I don't know if you should wipe it off and stick it back in. It don't look bad. So where's the where's the level at? I don't see. It's hard to see where it stops and starts. Definitely a little bit on it. I don't think it's up in the crosshairs. Let me uh, let me set you down here for just a second, guys. I'll try to get you where it ain't just for a second. I'm gonna wipe the dipstick off. We're gonna stick her back in there and pull it out one more time. It'd be nice to have my finger out of the way. All right, let's put it in. Let's do it one more time. Look at that damn dust, boy. Oh, yeah. So she is low. You can see it's down to that first red mark, or first dot right there. It's not in the crosshair, so it is low. Uh, I will have to add some to it, obviously. So, yeah, she's low. She's low. Like I said, guys, it doesn't surprise me because it's been leaking. And I don't know how long it's in there. Yeah, in there, buddy. Come on now. Here we go. Back in there. The color doesn't look bad on it. I don't know if you... Not really bad. Didn't smell like it was burnt or anything, but it's definitely, definitely low, and that's just from where it's been leaking out and everything. But All right, guys, I'll... Uh, Go by the parts store and get a quart. What is that, Dexron or something? I can't remember what, what the, I think that's right. I think it's what it calls for, but. All right, guys, so I'll get a, uh, I'll get a quart of transmission fluid, level it off, and uh, we'll get another video and let you know what the, uh, what the mechanic says about the old girl.